It's Lana Dwayne Bath for Best. I'm gonna make this quick. It's uh, still September the 30th, 2020. I'm Ronda Arrington Bay. So I'm gonna start off giving you a few things that I've experienced spiritually in reference to with the unclean. And once again, um, if you're not unclean, it's not um, addressed to you because it is about slave reading. Slave reading um, a species of unclean spirits with um, that which is clean, divine, and celestial. Um, celestial divine beings. And so the key uh, connection or to that is constitutional law. The constitution is an organic instrument. Organic means um, alive. It's a live instrument. And the earth is organic, okay? The universe, natural, okay? You, you are, um, when you are naturalized, you are demonstrating yourself as a natural being. Um, and um, there are many steps you have to take to be naturalized to uphold the U.S.A. Constitution of 1787, the 13th Amendment with 20 sections, and all four of Abraham Lincoln's proclamations. But when you are a part of the slave breeding process of animals, beasts, um, unclean spirits, unnatural spirits, that, um, that they have deliberately created in a population, then the, you're going to exclude that divine law of freedom because it's, because you're not trying to implement freedom. So this is what we are among and this is what the issue is about. So um, one of the, so once again, one of the things that they deal with, I've, I've experienced, and once again, it's not just me experiencing, it's so bad that the United States jurisdiction is not considered civilized in reference to physical and mental health. And the reason why the United States jurisdiction is not considered civilized because we are among unclean, unnatural, filthy spirits that have the code of telepathy. Either they were born with it and that, um, that strand, that lower strand of the code that they, that they inject into the pregnant women or they give it to them after the person um, could be an adult, whatever, because they have been trying to implement this uh, process of bondage mentally for a long time. So, um, uh, so okay. One thing I realized: so they can, when they, um, I, too many times a black Negro spirit, an unclean spirit, will engage mentally on this, um, mentally and through my sheet. And the only reason how I know, because sometimes I feel pressure, and it's always nine times out of ten, it's the black Negro. It's a black Negro unclean spirit. Once again, if you're not unclean, this is not about you. So if you start yelling racist, it's probably because you are unclean in spirit. All right, uh, we, you know a lot of them start saying racist because they because they know they are one of the ones that the, their government is slave breeding in the population. That's why they start yelling racist because they know they filthy and unclean. They know they have the code. They know the code is mixed with um, animal and beast DNA. And they know they're one of the ones that I am referring to. And they know they have behaved in such manner. They know exactly what they were created for and what they are here to stop. Okay? So, um, um, and the key, once again, the connection to a divine spirit, which is connected to the universe and the earth, natural, the, divine clean, the divine clean spirit of the universe and the earth, is freedom that organic instrument of freedom, the Constitution, all four of Abraham Lincoln's proclamations in the 13th Amendment of 20 sections. And as the National Grand Sheet says, the proclamations are the Hebrew law in layman's terms, which is um, represented in the Holy Bible, which was made public law on this landmass. So I'm gonna try to make this quick because I'm on now four minutes. So they engage um, mentally. Um, and they will in, um, invade the sheath of the body. And so while, that, while this is happening, I might hear one of um, the slaves, that, that property, say, brother, I love you, we paid. And so, and in the American Senate State, constantly hear the same black Negro female and male saying, or they even say, your son, she loves, she loves your son. Because once again, their government is trying to slave breed this species into a clean divine celestial line, as ancient celestial line, so that this species can keep the frequency of our bloodline low, which not only affects that individual ancestral line, Okay, because remember, they, they are mixed with animal, beast DNA, but it also affects, because it's unnatural, 
the earth and the universe. Okay, so um, let me continue. So I've heard them say constantly, um, your son, he loves your son. Or when this is happening, I might feel pressure on me. Sometimes I don't feel a pressure on me. Um, but when they're trying to literally attack where it makes me feel like um, my chest is about to cave in, I spread my, uh, my shaman light. Nine times, I would say many times, either that unclean spirit that looks to be black or African American, and a lot, and sometimes Spanish speaking. Very, I've, very few times I've noticed um, a pale skin attacking. So, and this is um, my connection to melon, because one of the things they have um, um, used as a war tactic is visual science. So you see someone melanated look like you. They might have locks. Uh, if you wear dread, uh, not dreads, but braids, they might have braids. Uh, if you are a person that ha have perm, they might have the hair perm, short hair, long, whatever. But they melanated, and you, and so you, um, they know when people who don't know, or not people, but I should say um, natural divine beings who don't know, they connect visually and um, with that that looks like them. So you might look at a pale skin, and because of the history that's taught about pale skins, you automatically have your uh, so-called uh, antennas up. But but when you see a black Negro, an African American, they could be from different part of the earth that look like you. Your antennas are not up, but not realizing that they that they are of something else that they are trying to um, breed in your ancient ancestral line. They are the exact same thing, just coming from different parts of the earth, which is in the, and when I say same thing, I'm referring to unclean spirits once again. So um, let me um, so that is um, definitely what I've experienced too many times, and so and to hear an unclean spirit constantly say "I love you," so they're attacking the genitals spiritually, okay, invading the space of my uh, she, and then they're saying "I love you." So if you do not know what you are among then that energy that frequency that you should be exuding to repel these unclean spirits you actually can be um, your your um, frequency or your energy can be uh, where um, it's not in a protective mode and so in that when these unclean spirits force mental and spiritually engage they are not experiencing a threatening energy from you. So um, a lot of times I notice, like for instance, a group of them might start laughing. So when you're laughing, ha ha ha, you're laughing, you're not thinking, you, you're, you're um, what's the word? The, um, you, you release an endorphin, you release energy. So these unclean spirits, um, once again, majority of them are the black Negro. Uh, they could be from different parts, but usually um, black Negro, African American, these are unclean, will engage. Um, and, um, usually I've heard the same voice over and over again, or they'll start saying, he loves her, okay? Once again, um, this is a process in reference to slave breeding. Now, who are they talking about? In Monte Gray Hyphen Bay and I, we don't know anyone personally here in Annapolis, Maryland. So when I hear spirits, when I'm um, experiencing a spiritually forced engaged, I'm talking about he loves her. Who are they talking about? But if you're dealing with a beast animal state of mind, okay, male and female, they will stalk the room and then and, and eventually hoping that the, their presence will be normal in your life. And then eventually hoping they can approach you on the physical plane without you having to call the police and have their filthy low lives arrested for harassment. Anyway, um, so another thing I've experienced is um, thoughts. For instance, I have walk, I have awoken with the mental songs um, of R&B playing constantly in my mind. And one mental song, and this is a beautiful telepathic book, um, and this is definitely dealing, um, connected to the military tactics, unnaturalized military tactics, maybe Navy, Army. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've lied somebody in that branch is stalking, um, lusting at the Imani, or, and I definitely me, uh, can't tell you, or police lusting. 
is called um so um um here in the r&b music being played constantly and then like for instance this one song um, um just a few days ago if loving you is wrong i don't want to be right so then um what i noticed is what they can do is send a thought is um piggybacking thoughts or even Dwayne. Um, these unclean spirits will actually imitate themselves or impersonate themselves as being you or send visuals of you. And this is a black Negro. So what they're trying to do is, um, once again, normalize their presence in your life. So if, uh, so if you're uh, accepting of their thoughts, after a while, this creature who is unstable, because that's exactly what it is, is unstable will have felt like they have done so much for you that they should have the right to rape you in the middle of the night. And then, so they, and, and so um, it's not like they don't have um, backing. So if you have a community of beasts and animals thinking this way, beasts and animals thinking this way, who's gonna stop them? But you can get testimony of what's going on. See, they don't want these unclean spirits, they don't wanna know, they don't want people to know and those that are out there to know what's going on. So this is the purpose, um, this is one of the purpose, or they wanna present a, a, a form of normality as though um, you are receptive to their engagement. But when you continue to give testimony about unclean spirits and what they're doing, it breaks that fallacy of their presence being in your life. So um, they really, um, it's like, you know, people start, those that have um, some form of civilized thought, it's like, what is going on, you know? What's going on with this? I'm not an animal, I'm not a beast. What's going on with them? Do I have the same telepathic code as they? Why not? If maybe I have a different strand of it, and that's why I don't think this way. Because definitely they giving out a strand, a low strand, nine times out of ten to the melanated, and then uh, and then the um, some of the pale, and definitely the pale skin, and then they um and they um gave out different strands to others, and you could tell. So another thing I realized, another um they do, um so in my, let me get back to so imagine if uh, you get a thought. And it's an evading thought of a black Negro that's stalking you, a male and female. And um, instead of, and you use the thought because as a Moorish American, you should be able to use the thought. But because they sick mentally, they start feeling like they have done something to help you, help your son. Okay. And then that day comes when they feel um, bold enough to approach you. Maybe you on, maybe you by yourself, whatever, and you reject them. Can you imagine what that filth would do if they can get away with it? Okay, these are creatures, animals. These are unclean spirits I speak of. Okay, so let me go ahead to the next um, thing I've noticed that do. So I talked about the engagement, the frequency, um, and when you are when you are aware of what you're among, you put out an energy when you try and defend yourself. Okay, and so that energy is there to protect you, your ancestral gods, to um, repel these unclean spirits. So once again, I'm going to reiterate the importance of knowing. So when they engage, so um, when they engage, so they feel like, look what I'm doing. I'm engaging. Look, look what I, I have so much power over um, this being. But they, but once again, I notice the pale skin doesn't do that. They they allow that stupid, ignorant, black Negro that's unclean in spirit and that which speaks Spanish or a brown skin to do it because they they have enough intelligence to know or probably have some information about science, okay? So, because if, if the energy on a natural divine being is to kill and destroy that which is trying to take your freedom, why would you engage, okay? So that um so the pale skin knows um they, they those that are intelligent not they know exactly why why I know why they don't engage okay they're smart so um let me see here um and this is the importance of knowing um, and reference and once again it's about unclean spirits 
Uh, let me think what else. So they can engage also to make different parts of your body to jerk or to um, block a thought. So your eyes can stop blinking, okay? And that's because one of them are engaging. Or you might forget something. That's because one of these unclean spirits that the government has in a population to spread sickness, viruses, send sharp pains, are engaging. Um, what else um, these unclean spirits are used for? And these are acts of terrorism. They acts of terrorism in reference to spirituality and, men, and, and um, mental, mental and spiritual um, terrorism. But it's hard to prove because once again, it's mental and spiritual. Uh, but it's in connection. But if you study and learn about your spirit and learn who you are, as Prophet Noble Joy Lee spoke of, I think you are. This is how you get um, formulas uh, to repel them and to uh, destroy, which is trying to invade and take your freedom or your rights. Okay. So um, let me think of what else um, I noticed they do. Uh, so they can make your uh, joints jerk, your eye, um, your eye blink. You don't know why. Block a thought, make you forget you. Because when each time this has happened, I have shined my light, and nine times out of ten, it's either black Negro, African American male, female, or um, nine times the male. Okay, believe it or not, it's the male. It's so you you say it's the male. A male, um, a night, it, and the female somewhere looking to see if it's done, literally like an animal, and um, or um, um, a brown skin, maybe Spanish speaking, but out of those two is the black Negro, male, and these are unclean spirits once again, um, or sharp pain in my arm, okay, males, um, let's see what else I noticed this happening, um, invading dreams um trying to have sex with you in your dream and then they and then if you don't know or you sleeping hard because you're tired and they're attacking your dream the unclean spirits will go around and start saying he loves her he loves she liked it her son liked it they came we made her can't come now that if that's not beast or animal state um, state mentality, what is that is true? That but then you are if you understand if I, now I'm understanding what's in that telepathic live code, you understand why that's a beast because they animals and beast. Um, what else? Um, I would say I've had um, those um, just a, a little while ago. That I'm at Whole Foods still in Annapolis, Maryland. Um, let me say this. A lot of times I say a verbal prayer. I say, Allah, thank you for killing and destroying all unclean spirits. Uh, it could be the unclean spirit that's black, Negro, African American, pale skin, Spanish speaking. They could be foreign. It doesn't matter. And they filthy low life kids or seeds. Okay, um, in Matthew, the Holy Bible speaks about expelling unclean spirits all the time. In Mark, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Bible was made public law. Now, if you're not unclean in spirit, then definitely this prayer is not uh, about you. But definitely, I do this uh, prayer, and that what that does is once again, frequency. Okay, that's a frequency to the universe and the earth. And um. I just, I was at, um, just now studying and reading, and there was this black Negro, um, I don't know if he was a Negro or not, but he had on a little bow tie, like I see the Nation of Islam um, members wear. I can't, and I can't tell you how many times um, um, blacks um, have started talking about the Nation of Islam and so forth, uh, another, um, that have, um, um, for whatever reason. And usually, uh, when you're dealing with slave breeding, okay, once again, uh, then um, those that are black or African American will speak of such groups because they are trying to slave breed. And that which control them are happy to see that happening. So, um, but they don't speak about the Moorish American National Republic, or, which is connected to an organic instrument of constitutional laws of freedom, okay? But I've heard that which is unclean spirit too many times uh, speak about how wonderful the nation of Islam is. I'm not accusing the nation of Islam, 
But I, I don't um, know. I, I don't know if they go through the form of naturalization. The last time I, I was reading about the Nation of Islam, they still put X's. I don't know. Um, uh, Malcolm, uh, not Malcolm. I won't use because I, I do respect Malcolm X, and you know one of the things he was teaching. I would say James X. Um, and they teach about other things, but um, they're not going through the forms of naturalization. That means upholding um, constitutional laws, the 13th Amendment, 20 sessions, and all four Abraham Lincoln's procl proclamations, these divine laws of freedom. If, you, you, if you're doing that, then you can't be a part of slave breeding. Okay, otherwise you're in treason. So that, that is, um, so I noticed that um, those that imply to be unclean in spirit, um, the black Negro, they, they'll start talking about the Nation of Islam. It's like, okay, so that lets me know, I don't know, you know, or other groups, black power, <laughs> or the white man, okay, <laughs> the white devil. Um, let's see here, what else they talk about? Um, and because they, once again, they're trying to categorize or put um, emphasis on a outside enemy uh, so you don't think about what's truly going on, slave breeding, and um, implementing that spirit of bondage, which is going against not only what is natural within you as a natural divine being, but the laws of the universe and the earth. Um, so what else um, I've um, heard them say uh, or do, um, besides the sharp pains, um, that I, I realized um, in connection. Uh, many times, like when I first started, when I first moved to um, Annapolis, Maryland, we were coming from Moorish American National Republic. And um, it takes us about two hours to um, get from the bus, uh, an hour and a half to get from the bus stop to um, where we um, domicile at. We would see um, a truck, okay? This is like in 2016, 2017, a pickup truck with a flag. Um, a southern flat driving around this would be like 12 in the morning uh, 1 in the morning coming back and uh, driving around with a chain uh, and then um, we'll see a group of black um, African Americans in a car they'll uh, tw twice this happened they pulled up next to us are you okay do you need some help so I don't understand why they were doing that we I mean I have never seen um, a southern flag in Maryland before this is the north. And I used to see them in the south all the time but I, didn't, I was like why did why am I seeing this up here in the Maryland but the reason why it was um, being done is to implement fear so in the connection to that so still to this day um, so if you so once again they want to implement fear these are unclean spirits so you look at the white man as the devil or some racist entity um, so you could be pulled or feel inclined to connect to a black negro that is unclean in spirit to breed, to slave breed, to amalgamate. So they can give you that telepathic code that they have mixed with uh, with animals. You don't know what they put in it, okay, but you know it's, it's, it's definitely a low strand and then you can amalgamate and um, once again your ancestral line is contaminated which not only affects you, but the um, natural, um, the spirit of earth and the universe. So, um, still to this day this happens. So I could be out, and all of a sudden I just see a lot of pale skins walking around looking at me. And then someone might say, brother, um, he loves you, whatever. So, um, so pale skin licking with their dogs, licking, just overly glancing my way, walking close around. Um, and then um, um, a black Negro female or male will walk by and somebody might say 333 because once again that's a, um, a form of grouping so they can amalgamate. And, when, um, and all this is done to as a psychological form of warfare so that once again you can slave breed, be slave bred with something that's not like you. Okay, that their government has classified and have them identified as animals and beasts for a reason because that's exactly what they are. There's no ifs, ands, buts about that. And that's exactly how they behave. Um, so, what else I have experienced? Um, let's see here. Um, 
um, besides um, that. And then, and what's interesting, Dwayne Byfield Bay, is that so many times I've seen on TV, um, you know, the civil right, you know, black African Americans marching about um, a racist act being done, a racist crime. And you don't, and when you're not conscious and not knowing what's going on, you you be like, Black Lives Matter, okay? You don't you don't realize what you're among. Then you, you get upset because they they playing off that um, that emotional aspect and you not knowing, okay? Not knowing that those same groups those could not all the time because definitely there's some injustices going on, but too many times um, they are in connection with um, that same species, that same unclean spirit that's doing it. You got, you know, so, and then they'll get on TV in March and that, and then play the whole scenario out um, about um, how this was wrong, this was done. I've experienced it here just by being among unclean spirits that um, are pale skin, that are over aggressive trying to engage after I post and demonstrate information about the black Negro, the United States military, the Navy, the Army, or male and female that is uh, saying things like, brother, I love you, outside and around the room. And then they start um, crying and boo-hooing, and nine times out of ten they're acting. Not all the time, but too many times they're acting, saying black lives matter. Okay, so that um, I think that's it. Now um, that's that's what I've learned so far in reference to spirituality. Not so far. There's other things I just can't pull. Every, let me see if I can pull something else up. So I, t the, I told you about the um, mental engagement, which that would and now which that itself can cause um, you to wobble if you're not paying attention. You can uh, decide to walk a certain way. You let you know different ways because a spirit is literally uh, forced mental engaging with on your sheath, and you're not and you're too busy. You, your mind is on autopilot. You might be working, you might be doing other things, and you don't realize what's going on. Okay, and what they're doing. So by doing that, they start. They they like you know they feel like they have developed some form of engagement, some form of um, um, love. Okay, uh, okay, some form of love. So they are forcefully, mental, and spiritually engaging, and then they start telling themselves they love how um, you might like it. Uh, this is how it's supposed to be. Okay, nobody in their right minds, because we among other nations that are very healthy, than the United States.